Now I'm going to be working on the next section which is going to be a section for displaying uh, three uh, cards. Each single card will display a product, a new product in our uh, website. So here I'm going to create a new section called new. And then I'm going to here say section. And then for this section first I'm going to give it as usual I'm going to give it an ID. I'm going to say ID and the ID is going to be new. And I'm going to also give it a class and that class is going to be width width 100. And inside that section first I'm going to divide that section I'm going to use the raw to divide that section into three columns. So I'm going to say div and then I'm going to give this div a class the raw class to divide the page into a, uh, a row of uh, a row that consists of three columns and I'm going to remove the padding and the margins so I'm going to say P0 and M0 P0 means that I don't want any padding and M0 means that I don't want any uh, margins and they, these are bootstrap these, all of these are bootstrap classes next I'm going to display the first column so for the first column I'm going to say dev class and I'm going to give it first a class called one which is my class and then I'm going to give it bootstrap classes first column lg4 and column uh, medium medium 12 and column small 12 which means that for large screens uh, three, col three, raw, uh, three columns will, will be displayed per row. For medium screens, only one column will be displayed per row. For small screens, only one column will be displayed per row. Finally, I'm going to remove the padding. I'm going to say here P0. And then inside that div, I'm going to display an image. I'm going to say image. And then I'm going to say source. And then I'm going to give this uh, I'm going to first give this image a class, a bootstrap class called image fluid, which is going to make the image responsive. And for the source, I'm going to say source, I'm going to say assets, images, for slash one dot jpeg. And I'm going to get that image later. Below the image, below the image, I'm going to display a, uh, a section and I'm going to give it a class called details and for for this details I'm going to display two things I'm going to display a text that's going to be displayed in h2 in in uh, title 2 here let's say really awesome shoes and then below I'm going to display a button and for the button I'm just going to say shop now and I'm going to give it a bootstrap class called text upper case let me save and let me head on over to the browser and refresh and as you can see we have one uh, column. Let's display two columns here on the in the um, in the middle and uh, on the right side. So to do that, we need to copy this part. Let me here say one, and this is the end of one. So here I'm going to say two, and then I'm going to say here. Three. and I'm going to copy this and paste it here and paste it here so for two let's display a different text I'm going to say here awesome anything you want to display here I'm going to say 50% off
and uh, for the images I'm gonna say two and I'm gonna say here three so we have one two three and let me add the images so I have here three images I'm gonna drag these images and drop them onto the images folder so we have one two and three so these are the images and let me now uh, head on over to the browser and test so now in the browser as you can see we have one two and three but uh, the problem is with the images they don't have the same sizes let me work on this so first of all this image is too small we need to replace this with a bigger image image so I have another image let me add this image and test with this image let me test this image and I think this image is bigger as you can see it's bigger however we still need to work on the uh, size because uh, some images uh, might be uh, greater than others therefore we need to we need to work on the design of these images so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna head on over to CSS and I'm gonna work on the design of these images first of all I'm gonna work on the new section remember we have here this new section in the HTML we have this new ID so in the CSS in the style that CSS I'm gonna add here the new I'm gonna say new and then for this new I'm gonna say dot uh, one and then image and uh, remember this one is for for this and this and this so the image is gonna be this image is refers to all images all images that are inside this uh, inside one class so for the image we need to change the width and height I'm gonna say width the width 100% and the height 100% now the images should have the same size so the images should have the same size and uh, I think they look great now uh, the next thing that I'm gonna work on is the is that I'm gonna add some uh, background position I'm gonna change the background position so the background position background position is gonna be center because I want to center the images I'm gonna say background position center and the background uh, repeat is none back ground repeat none no repeat and the background size cover now let me refresh and as you can see it's, it's gonna look great uh, next we need to work on the uh, the position of this one of this uh, of the one the complete dev so for the complete dev I'm gonna give it I'm gonna say here new dot one and I'm gonna give it a position relative and I'm gonna display these uh, button the button and the text inside or above the image to do this to do this we have to change the details section position remember the de details this details is below the image and in order to display the details above the image we need to give the details here we need to say new and then dot one and then dot details details we need to change the position so I'm gonna change the position to absolute absolute and the top is gonna be zero and the left left is also gonna be zero whereas the the uh, the uh, color I'm gonna change the color the color is gonna be uh, barely wood and uh, the font weight I'm gonna change the font weight to be bold and transition point for s is and I'm gonna give it also opacity of 0.8 and background color
background color. So the background color is going to be a black color. I'm going to say RGB 1, 1, 1. And uh, that's it. Let me save. Uh, let me show you what's going to happen now. Now what happens is that the, the text and the button will be displayed above the image. Uh, and uh, they will be displayed inside this uh, uh, section, but we want this section to to, ex to be extended and to take the complete size as the image. And to do this, we need to increase the width and height. Therefore, I'm going to say here width 100%, and the height height is also 100%. So the, this means that this black area will take the complete uh, will we'll take the same exact size and uh, will take the same exact height and width as the image. Now let me refresh and as you can see it's going to look like this. But let's decrease the, the opacity a little. I'm going to say opacity 7, 0.7. So this is the opacity. Opacity is a little. You can decrease the opacity even to 0.5. So as you can see, you can decrease and increase the opacity. Uh, and also we need to move the text and the button to be displayed in the, um, in, in the middle. So in order to do that, we have to, uh, we have to change the... Let me here show you what I'm going to do. We have to, to change the details. The, this, we have to change the one the one um, class, this one class, because this one class contains the button and the text. Therefore, what I'm going to do here is that for the for this, I'm going to say new, and then one, and then nth child one dot details. What does this mean? This means that I'm accessing the first, the first one, the first child of the of the one which is this child, which is this, which is the details. So I'm, I'm basically accessing the details, the details of the first child. So in other words, I'm accessing this. I'm accessing the first details. So for the first details class which is this, which is this text. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the, um, the display. The display is going to be flex. Display flex. And the justify uh, content is going to be center. This is going to center the text. And the flex, flex uh, direction the flex direction is going to be column, whereas the uh, uh, align items is going to be start. Align items, align items is going to be flex start. Flex uh, start. And uh, finally, the, the text, the, al uh, the text align is going to be start. Now, if I save and refresh, the text will be displayed on the left side. Yeah, uh, in the middle, vertically. In the middle, in terms of the, uh, of um, vertically, it's going to be in the middle, but horizontally, it's going to be on the left. As you can see, it's going to be vertically. It's going to be uh, in the middle because I said here, center the justify content center, and the 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 align uh, items is, is flex start, and the uh, text align is start, which means that it's going to be displayed on the left side. And if this is not clear, you can increase the opacity. Here the opacity could be 8, 0 0.8. Now if I say 0 0.8, it's going to be darker and the text will be uh, displayed uh, better. 